We had one more surprise for you. The jury of Ink Masters. Oh yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Crazy, that right? That was crazy. I didn't think I was going to win. I looked at them and I was like, F I wanna come back because I want that. Welcome to No More Ink. I'm Ryan Ashley, and you just watched the incredible season 15 finale of Ink Master. Joining me today is our winner, Bobby Johnson. Hello, Bobby. What's up? What is going on? So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. You beat a ton of other people. You made it all the way to the end in this thing. You won $250,000. Yeah. Has the check come in yet? Mm, I guess that's yet. a personal question. It's coming, I promise. Uh, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about you. How old are you? Where are you <sighs> from? How long have you been tattooing? I'm 35. I've been tattooing for 13 years from San Diego, California. Let's talk about your tattoo style. You consider yourself neo-traditional? I don't love the neo-traditional box. I feel like if it doesn't categorize as anything else, it gets thrown into this neo-traditional mm -hmm. box. And for me, I don't think a lot of my stuff or my peers looks the same. Even the guys that I work with, right? Some of the guys that I work with, we're all put in the same box. We might do the same subject matter, like lady faces, animals, a little spin on it, maybe harder lines, more black, but they don't look the same. So when everything is categorized as neo-traditional, I'm not super in love with that term. I don't know what you would call my style, maybe like a um, Art Nouveau kind of neo-romantic. I like Ooh, that stuff a little more. Neo-romantic? Yeah, yeah, I like that term a little better. I love better. that. You should coin that. Well, I didn't cool. make it up. I don't, don't oh, let really? Neo-romantic? I'm just is here a... to put it out there. All right, so how did you start tattooing? So I was 16, and my cousin called me up and said, yo, my dad is out of prison. Do you want a tattoo? I was like, From yeah, his dad? I'm 16. Yes, my uncle. So my uncle Frank tattooed me. He was asking, like, oh, have you been drawing a bunch? And I told him yes, and he showed me how to make a machine. And that was kind of like a, a little project. I was 16, little skater kid. I didn't do much with it, but it kind of got me interested. I didn't even think about getting a tattoo, didn't think about doing tattoos. And then once I got the ball rolling, you know, some people got word and I got an apprenticeship through Waze. I had to quit for seven years. Uh, I had a seven year hiatus, but it was really helpful because I, I feel like my I pushed my art. I knew I wanted to get back into tattooing, but that's how it started, Uncle Frank. Well, thank you, Uncle Frank. Seven year hiatus is a while. A long time, what, yeah. What were you doing during that time? I did refinery work. I did like super duper blue collar work. Just whatever I could. I had, I had my daughter at 20, I just had to have a real job. And then one day, one of my friends said, hey, come work at this shop with me. And I was like, I can't, I'm, I, I didn't even finish my apprenticeship. And he was like, just lie. And I, I was like, all right, cool. So I lied, I told him I was been ta tattooing like two, three years. Mm -hmm. And then they gave me a shot, I pulled off a tattoo or, or two. He said, yeah, I'll give you a job. And then I just made sure everything that walked in the door was as clean as I could get it. And then I just started tattooing from there. Did it drive you crazy for the, all that time that you weren't? in the position you wanted to be in. Yeah, of course, but it really helped me. I didn't get comfortable, right? I knew that because I couldn't afford taking that time off, that if I got an opportunity to jump on it, I needed to be ready artistically. I almost always imagined myself drawing. When I was lining pieces of artwork, I was like making buzzing noises in my head and just imagining that I was pulling a line. Everything that I did was surrounded by tattoos, but I was just applying art. So that when I got the opportunity, I could take it. I love that. I think it always helps when you take even just a few weeks, right? When you take even just a few weeks off of tattooing, I feel like it's enough time to sort of clear your mind out a little bit. And even with a small break like that, you do approach it differently. Yeah. And you appreciate it more. You actually, yeah. you miss it. I'm like, oh, I need a break. And as soon as I get a break, I'm just like, I need to, I need, yeah. to, I need to tattoo something super cool, you know? Yes. Yeah. I love it. I'm addicted to it. Yeah, so the finale was no big deal or anything. Just I mean, 36 it was, hours. The finale was crazy. That was some absolute other sh I think everyone knows. And I think everyone that will have watched no, will know. I like as much design time as I can possibly get. And I feel like I definitely didn't get it. Everything worked out. But even if you do well, you still have things that you shoulda, coulda, woulda. And design time for me is everything. Yeah. I like everything to be perfect. And so finale was really hard for Rough, me. Rough, yeah. yeah. I have a full day, like probably six to eight hours um, before every tattoo. It takes me a full day to design. Oh yeah, me too. Like, forever. I, so let's say I'm halfway done with a drawing and I have one more night to finish. I'm like, oh, I'll get this done early. No, I will take every single second that I possibly have. And I might draw a little bit the next morning because yeah. that's just the way that I am. Oh yeah. Well, when you sleep on stuff too, you wake up in the morning and look at it and you're like, what the f yeah, yeah. What was this, it? Is this is not out of here. No, yeah. nah. How about we go through some of the tattoos in your 
portfolio that you did prior to coming to Ink Master. Let's look at some of the stuff that you really love to do. Cool. All right, Bobby, you ready for the critique? Sure. No, I'm just with you. I'm just with you. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorite tattoos of yours. It's stunning. I actually showed my husband this tattoo the other day. And usually when I show him something on my phone, he's like, mm-hmm. And I showed him this tattoo and he goes, whoa. And he came over and grabbed my phone to look at it. Dope. This tattoo is killer. Thank you. Yeah. It's on a super good client. He has two of my favorite tattoos maybe that I've ever done. And he just booked a giant chest piece with me. What a I lucky guy. I mean, he's great too. I don't ever have to pick up new clients because they just like roll into the next thing. It's yeah. It's dope. I it's love this. Awesome. I'm very hard on myself and I'm not super proud of much, but I really like this tattoo. Oh, it's just. I can pick it apart all day looking at it, but. No, no way. I also love this one. Man, you hit after hit, Bobby. This one is cool, I think, because that like peachy color is so unexpected. I actually did both of these tattoos when I was going through a, a really big transitional period in my tattooing. Just trying new things, lots of new stuff. I am not a color tattooer and I don't have any color tattoos, but I, I love art, right? And so I love color tattoos, but my favorite kind are the more, not necessarily a simple color palette in terms of how you use the color, but not every crayon in the box. It's like you choose a color story and you stick with that color story because looking at this, it's a mood. Right when you see it, right when your eyes hit the image, it's a tone and a vibe and a feeling. And I think a lot of that has to do with the dynamic use of color. Like it's confidence in, in only a few colors. It's really impressive. This client, incredible person, her first tattoo. Her first one? Her first one. Wow. My clients are really just cool as I'm super lucky. I think they just see what I have to offer. I'm very open. I like to have artistic freedom, but make I want to make you as happy as possible. I want you to walk out with something that you love. Yeah. The day that we started this, I was like, hey, we can get away with going a little bigger. Do you want to go bigger? And we just kind of kept going bigger. This is three sessions. Bigger, Most of this bigger, is healed. Bigger. It's all kind of the same palette. The fox next to those kind of peachy orange flowers. It was a risk, but I wanted to try it. It works. I wouldn't imagine that it would work, but it but it does. It's just so much more aesthetically pleasing than sticking like a totally other random color in there, you know? It's like, yeah, it's yeah. a story now. Speaking of stories, I like that all of my stuff moves and interacts. If I have two subject matters, I like them to interact with each other. Yeah. And I also, you know, I, I love everything flowing, but she requested that she wanted a representation of her and her husband and the husband being the fox and her being the mouse. She was just like, I don't care how they're on there. I just want them to be in the tattoo. And I was like, I, I really like my stuff to interact. And after she told me a little bit about her husband, I kind of knew what to draw. No, it's spectacular. I love that. To prove you deserve the title of Ink Master, you must now face a brutal test of skill and endurance. You must each tattoo, not one, not two, but three single session 12 hour <laughs> leg tattoos. Oh, when it came down to you guys having to pick the skulls for the finale tattoos, and you thought you got the end of the stick. The blank skull? The blank skull. So I didn't know how to feel about that because all competition, all, all season, the skulls were just not my friend. I just am the worst at it. I'm the worst at picking my own skulls. I'm, I'm very bad at uh, assigning them, obviously. I gave a couple of my friends bad stuff that I didn't mean to. So a part of me was like, cool, I got out of this. I got the blank skull. I don't need to do anything. But a part of me was like, damn, this is, a, this is it though. Do I want an advantage? And then it turns out that we, to be a pretty big advantage. I think out of the three tattoos in the finale, I think that one was the one I'm most proud of. 12 hour days, three days in a row. That's basically 36 hours of tattooing. Yeah. Back to back to back. How is your body doing? <laughs> It's rough. I feel like John, myself, and Freddie would talk about how our fingers were numb. And my fingers were numb for two and a half weeks. My thumb was numb, the tip of it was numb, just from tattooing for so long, mm -hmm. so straight. And then, you know, the normal stuff, back, hands are cramping, your forearms hurt. But I think the tattooing was fine for me. I think what it was was I didn't get enough time to be ultra, ultra, ultra perfect and precise with my designs, and I think that's what killed me more. I think that's another thing that a lot of people don't take into consideration is that, oh, they get six hours to tattoo. Six hours to tattoo normal design is 
plenty of time if you're not getting crazy intricate like you or Jenna or you know tattooers like that but the design time is is real you know you're seeing little snippets of it on TV or on the screen but it's still a very 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 short time it's real it's 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 fast that's what my biggest challenge was I think so in terms of the finale when you look back on that experience I mean obviously it worked out the best that it could have but what would you have done differently if you could go back and do anything differently so I had some poor weeks during the meat of the, the competition. I knew that those were likely to happen. No one's crushing everything always, but the last two tattoos in the finale, maybe the last one, the one that's kind of in my style, I think if I would have just stuck to my normal recipe and just done that lady in my approach, I think I would have been much, much, much happier. I do love that tattoo, but I was trying new things and that, that was kind of the, the point trying new, yeah. softer techniques. And I think that that's the number one thing that I would have changed. It's funny that you chose the third tattoo of the finale to try new techniques, right? Yeah. yeah that's a great time. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it, it went with my narrative. Totally. I really wanted to convey, like, this is what happens when you're here, you know? You get broken down, you get built up, and you learn. Yes. Right? And what's cool is that I learned on that tattoo, right? I learned some what not to do's, some to do's. That's the dopest thing about tattooing is that whenever I see someone crush it and I'm like, oh, they're on my coattail or like they're surpassing me or, or they just crush this, I don't get envious, I get almost happy. So I'm like, that's sick. That's dope because there's further to go. I can learn. It's like a, it's like a good feeling. It's a comforting feeling knowing that you can keep moving. I feel like if I felt like I couldn't learn anything, I'd be bummed. Tonight, the judges are not the only ones you need to impress. A spot in the top two will be in the hands of a jury. Whoa. So what we have here is a jury of ink masters. So coming into the finale, we had one more surprise for you. The jury of ink masters. Oh yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Crazy, that right? That was crazy. They looked like tough mother sitting there. Yeah. When you looked over, I was like, holy that they was cool. look like a group of ink masters. It was cool. We've also had X amount of weeks to get to know you guys better or get comfortable with you guys just on our tattoos every week. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, yeah. I mean, I know that they mean well and they're just like critiquing me for my benefit, right? Then you have offense. these guys who have gone through the, the exact thing that you've just gone through. They've gone through this exact day that you're going through and they've won. And I, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be honest, because I, I didn't think I was going to win. I looked at them and I was like, F I want to come back. I want that. Like, I want that right there. Cause they just look so- Powerful. It, powerful they and did. just they... like, it's such a small group of people, right? Like there's 14. That includes me. That's crazy. That is, yeah. In the world? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And I world. saw them and I was like, I want to come back. I want to do this again. Cause I want that. Did you go through that process where you're like, okay, I just don't want to be the first one eliminated. I just don't want to yeah. leave on the first episode. And then you're like, maybe I can make it to like top 10. Oh my God, am I going to be in the top five? And then yeah, it keeps yeah. happening. And it's like little goals along the way. Yeah. That like, so the approaching it, I was like, I'm going to have to have confidence. I'm going to have to have a sense of confidence, right? It changed by the second. I was like, I'm going to make it to the finale. And then the next second it would be, I just don't want to, I just don't want to be eliminated in week one. Right? And then after week one happened and I ranked number one, in my head I was like, all right, everything after this is a bonus. I got to do a really f cool tattoo mm -hmm. on Ink Master. I ranked number one, which was crazy. Everything from there was just kind of a bonus. And then you really get into it. And honestly, for me, it was like, I don't want to go home. I'm not ready to not do this anymore. I and I think some of the other competitors might think I'm crazy, but I'm like, I'm not really going to be in a position to compete again. Like, that's like the one, I know it's it's like, oh, boo-hoo, but like, it was such a fun, cool experience that it was just dope. It was the best time. But you know what's crazy is DJ has come back numerous times, it's, it's right? It's so circumstantial and all of with him though, you Totally, know? but a lot of people come back and compete again. Last season we had five Ink Masters return, yeah. but the craziest thing about it is, every time you come back, if you ever come back to compete again, it's not gonna be the same group of people or the same situation it's and you're different and they're it's it's yeah. never it, it was truly it's a spark that happens for a period of time that will never happen that way again just mm. like that it's crazy it is cool do you want to play a game yeah you do always okay good let's play a game well Bobby winning was not enough 
we have one more challenge for you. It's called the Sketch It Challenge. So you're gonna get a secret word, and then you're gonna have a couple minutes to draw whatever this word is, and I'm gonna try to guess. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, this All first right. one is a little hard. Bodysuit. Yes. <gasps> what? Yes. That is crazy. <laughs> We need to go to like a competition. Wow, I'm good. I'm good. Let's do Where's this. Where's a bar that's doing this? I know we're only supposed to do a few. We can go all day. Okay, this this one is a little challenging as well. It's not as crazy as the last one, but uh, I'm gonna yeah. try and get us. Yeah, there. that last one was really hard. Banana. I don't ever draw this, so it's super difficult. Oh my god, I don't even know what this is supposed to look like. It's an alligator mouth open. You're super close. Really? No. Oh. What else can I do? <laughs> I see this drawn all the time and I think it's really cool. And then I'm drawing it now for maybe the first time ever and I'm like, wow, this is so much harder than I thought it was. Harder than bodysuit somehow. I mean, if I were to draw this ever again, it would just be exactly this. What? <laughs> it's so hard, this one, for me. It's so outside of the realm of anything that I do. Is it a tentacle? No. Okay, is it, it's not a Venus flytrap, is it? No, it's also not that. Yeah. It's a style. Biomech? Yes. How do you see it after I said style? It's the shapes of the swirls and the little dots on the tentacle Okay, things. yeah, that's why I you was like, I mean? yo, this is getting us a little closer. Should yeah, we move on? Yeah, it's biomech. Okay, next one. I'm gonna use the same technique I did before. It's a, uh, is it teeth? Very close. That's not teeth? No, you'll see. Collar? Getting close. Like Choker? Getting close. Jewelry necklace? Getting so Close. Oh my god, what is it? I need more terminology. You're on the right track. I swear you're on the right track. Does this go around the neck? It can go around the neck. It can go wherever you want it to go. I'm actually like drawing this very specifically for a person. What is it, a bracelet? It can be. It's, it's like a specific word. You are so on the right track. Ornament? Orna Ornament? Ornamental? Ornamental. Ornamental. Oh. Like you can use it in my work too. Like we just do it in like such different styles. Like yeah, I would probably ways. do something like that, right? Yep. That went a lot better than Biomech, I think. Wow, that went really well, that one, yeah. Look at that. And then you're just ready, just stencil this. I do stencil like that sometimes. You do? And I make, yes. Oh my God. Oh I'm like, God. now I'm comparing it <laughs> mentally to Ryan's I'm like, what the f Two votes for Bobby, two votes for Freddy. I'm voting for Bobby. Holy Congratulations, sir. That means, Bobby, the judges have decided you do have what it takes to be Ink Master. Congratulations. So, Bobby, now that you are the reigning Ink Master, you've got the title, what comes next? What can come next? It's like the cool, like the coolest, most un unobtainable. I keep thinking about it, right, in my head, and I, I almost laugh because it's, it's that surreal. I don't know what's next. I feel like good tattoos, hopefully. That's what's next for me. I actually am going to try and do a collaboration with as many ink masters as I can. That's, That's cool. what I really want to do. I thought of that after talking to a couple of them that were there, Anthony and a couple others. I'm like, I just want to try and do collaborations with as many as I possibly can because I think that's really cool. Yeah. It's really special. And I don't think I put myself in the shoes of actually being one until now. So I don't know, I don't know what's next. That's a crazy thing. <laughs> what, I mean, what, what would you do? What was, what was next for you? After I won, yeah. Um, I spent like six weeks in bed. Okay. <laughs> I did. Okay. Yeah. And it's then, crazy. And then I went through this thing where like, to be completely honest, if we're being totally raw here, I think I had like imposter syndrome or something oh, for a second, yeah. where I was like feeling this crazy need to like make sure they were correct. And so I felt this need of wanting and having to like prove my myself. And so I just toured the world. I did all the conventions I possibly could for like two years afterwards, I traveled my off. Yeah, so I wonder if it's a common theme because I feel the exact same way. I keep thinking back of like, how could all of them have been wrong? Like all, everyone who voted for me, I was like, how could they all be wrong? I'm like, I, I try to think back on my tattoos and Freddy's and John's and I'm like, how could they have gotten it so wrong, right? And then imposter syndrome, right? And so I I've definitely have the same thing. I'm like, I'm just gonna try and crush tattoos. That's gonna be the next yep. thing. I'm gonna tour, hopefully gonna come hang out with you, come. hang out with DJ, yeah. hang out with Anthony Michaels. I'm yeah. gonna hang out with as many people as I can, soak up as much as I can. I just wanna do great tattoos. That's what I started wanting to do, yeah. and that's what I feel like I still want to do, just better. Yeah. I just wanna get better. Well, now it's almost like you've 
because of the experience and the competition, you formed into this new person, and now it's time to live the life of the new person, right? Yeah, it's which, like like is, an evolved form, almost, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, You're still the exact same person, you've just... Evolved. What about all this money, the huh? Money, Quarter money. of a million dollars. Uh, We're like, oh yeah, I went, I'm on money. I'm <laughs> oh, so yeah. rich. You uh, spend no, all of it uh, on one actually, necklace. Actually, I've like completely deleted it out of my brain. I'm going to take it, pay the taxes, I don't want to be, uh, you know, one of these celebrities in prison. Not that I'm a celebrity, but I, I just think of, uh, you know, celebrities only go to prison for one thing. It's not paying their taxes. And so that's always scared me. You're worried about going taxes. to prison? That's the first thing on yeah, your Celebrity mind. is not a word I'm using for <laughs> myself, by the way. The first thing I'm doing is paying the taxes. Just want to get the taxes out of the way. Here, here's your cut. Just have it. Uh, and then I think it's just like, I always worry about my kids. Yeah. And so I think I just want to invest in something that can last them. Because it's a lot of money, but it's so easy to spend that money. It seems yeah. like, like a crazy number, but it's a pretty easy number to spend, especially if you're just like splurging, right? So I think I'm just going to invest in something for my kids. Bobby, it has been a pleasure. It was amazing watching you work all season long. Your tattoos are in incredible. I'm super, super stoked for you. And Thank you. Uh, dude, I wish you the best. Thank you. Cool, thanks to everybody at home who joined us for season 15 of Ink Master. Bobby, you're the newly crowned winner, so I'm gonna let you finish this off. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ink Master YouTube channel for everything Ink Master. Cool. Good job.